All right, let me gently lead you through the House of the Rising Sun. Uh, this is an old song, and if, uh, if you've never heard it before, um, it's, it makes a wonderful instrumental. I mean, it, it, it's a great vocal, too. I first heard the animals do it uh, with Eric Burden back in the 60s, and everybody knows that. <laughs> That's a very iconic sound, isn't it? Everybody knows that sound. Um, I also heard Chet Atkins and Mark Knopfler jamming on it one time, and, and uh, oh, it sounded, sounded wonderful, and I stole a lot of ideas from them. I'm going to show you some of those, <coughs> those ideas. Um, uh, the song was originally called A House in New Orleans, I think. And, um, so, but anyway, let me lead you through it. So... It, to play the melody correctly. Um, uh, there is a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the room of many a poor boy And Lord, I know I'm one that, That's the correct melody, as far as I know. So, let me show you how, what, what I'm doing here. So I've got my boom chick going as my as my backing, and then the melody. I'm trying to sustain the melody notes while I mute the bass notes. So there's there's two separate things going on there. Now let me just uh, show you something here. When I go up to the high chord, I purposely slide up to it because that's what a voice, they call, you see that? They call the rising sun. So I try to get that, they call, that, that sound. So, uh, boom. I go, which is a typical blues so I, I I hammer on the third like that they call and then I switch to that and it's been and it's been e I'm using my pinky to do that. You see that? And I'm covering the the two high strings, the B and the E, with my with my pinky there. Then I now in order to get that little trill and that kind of vocal uh, uh, thing that I do there, I go. As I do that, I can see this muscle sticking out here, you know, and which means that I've put my hands to work a lot to get that kind of clarity on that uh, on that trill. Um, let me just go through that. See that? And to join the two verses uh, up, I do a little. Which is just A minor G F D. Back to the back to the melody. Now this, the second time, um, instead of going to lead up to the high thing, the second time you can do what I saw Chet do, and that is this. He used an augmented. Isn't that a great sound? It's a beautiful sound. So let me just play that through that last section for it. Then.
So that's the basis and the basics of uh, House of the Rising Sun. I also want to point out one little thing that I didn't do before, but I'm doing now that I'm instructing you on this. I'm just going to put this on right now. And that is sometimes I do a little lick on the end of um, the, the verse, which people really like. And a lot of people, uh, I, I hear guys playing this song and I hear some of my licks. Um, which makes me very happy. That means that people like that stuff that I, I come up with. Um, and I'll show you what it is. Instead of going... I go... That's it. So I go... I'm using I'm using an E seventh with an augmented there. So I go A minor. It's kind of a funky little slightly outside lick that I really like. And so I put it in there years ago and I saw people light up when I played that lick. But when I play this song in tempo, sometimes I'll play a little faster than what I've been teaching you. So it'll sound like this. That's how you make it different and make it your own by putting your own little um, uh, uh, personality on it. So I hope you enjoy working on House of the Rising Sun. <laughs>